हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जानवर लीड को चैलेंज एंड द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टुडे इज खो खो ईटिंग बनानास हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन द पाइल्स ऑफ बनानास इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ एन आर ए ऑल्सो दर इज अ पर्सन नेम खो खो हु डिसाइड्स टू ईट बनानास पर आर एट द ईटिंग स्पीड ऑफ के ईच आर शी चूज सम पाइल्स ऑफ द बनानास एंड ईट के बनानास फ्रॉम दैट पाइल इफ द पाइल हैज लेस दैन के बनाना शी ईट्स ऑल ऑफ दैम इंस्टेड एंड विल नॉट ईट एनी मोर बनानास ड्यूरिंग दैट आर what do we need to do in this question we need to identify the minimum integer k such that she is able to eat all the bananas within the given h hours so we are given the h count up till which she is allowed to eat these bananas and the rules of eating those bananas across these piles we need to tell that value of k the minimum one using which she is able to finish all the piles within the specified time stamp so i'll talk about it more in the presentation the approach that we are going to use to solve this question will be binary search so let's quickly move on to the ppt where i'll tell you how to go about the algo coco eating bananas lead code is 875 and let's get started with the first example that was specified in the question here the piles are specified as 3 8 7 11 and the total number of r that are specified as 8 so let's hypothetically assume So the value of k happens to be six in this case, and if I ask you whether the value of k that is six will fit in this complete piles, let's try and calculate how much time will it take. Will it be less than or equal to eight? So let's check that. We have the pi uh, k value as six. So let's start with the iteration. We see three. Uh, that three divided by six gives us zero. That means it will contribute to one hour. Let's proceed ahead. Six divided by six again gives us one. It will contribute to one hour. We have seven by six as as a uh, one. Seven divided by six is one. However, there is a remainder uh, left which is one. So that will contribute to another hour. So the value would be two. Next we have eleven. Eleven by six is it's again one. Also we have a remainder left which is five. So it will again contribute to two. so in totality how many hours would it take 1 2 4 6 it's going to take 6 hours so this is within the limits of h that means the value of 6 can one of the probable solution for this input array now we know given a value of k how can we calculate the number of hours it takes to eat the entire pile and we can compare it with the value h we can use this to finally arrive at the minimum value of k that will support within the range of h how can we do that we'll apply something similar to range based binary search approach that we did few days back as well here in this case we'll take the low value as 1 because that's the first positive value and the high value can be taken as the maximum value across these set of piles that is 11 so let's get started let's take low as 1 high as 11 and let's calculate the middle pointer the middle turns out to be 6 1 plus 11 by 2 gives me 6 and let's calculate the number of hours it takes given the fact that k happens to be 6 it again takes 6 hours and 6 happens to be less than h so what we can what we should do in such case we should decrement the high pointer so that uh, we want, we arrive at the lower value of k so h gets decremented to mid So now h points to six, and let's repeat the process. Let me just change the color of pen, and we have low as one, high as six. What is the middle value? The middle value turns out to be three. Let's calculate the numbers of hours it takes corresponding to k as three. So three by three gives me one. Six by three gives me two. Seven by three gives me three. Eleven by three gives me four. What is the total sum of these? One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six plus four is ten. It takes ten hours if the value of k happens to be three. So it is. It has violated the condition, the upper limit of h, which is eight. What do we do in such case? We increment the low pointer to mid plus one. Uh, so low gets updated to four. Now we have low pointing to four and high pointing to six. Let's proceed ahead. and let me just change the color of pen we have low pointing to 4 and high pointing to 6 let's calculate the middle pointer the middle turns out to be 5 and let's proceed with the same 
a calculation of hours to eat the entire piles. Five by three by five gives me one. Plus six by five gives me two. Plus seven by five gives me two. Plus eleven by five gives me three. So what is the total sum? Total sum turns out to be two plus three is uh, five. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus one is eight. So it is within the range. H is equal. It is equal to the value of H that we have. What do we do in such case? We again update the high pointer so as to reconfirm whether it's the least possible value or not. So H gets updated to mid. Now H is pointing to five, and low is pointing to four. Let's do the next iteration. And now we have low at four, and high at five. Let's recalculate the middle pointer. The middle turns out to be four, and corresponding to four, let's calculate the number of hours it takes. So three by four corresponds to one, plus six by four corresponds to two, plus seven by four corresponds to two, plus eleven by four corresponds to three. Again, it turns out to be eight. And what do we do in such case? We decrement the high pointer to mid. High gets updated to four. Low is also pointing to four. How is high is also pointing to four? The loop aborts, and we say that four is the minimum possible value. Let's quickly talk about the coding section where I'll exactly do the same steps as I have just talked. So let's move on to the coding part. And here I have created a helper method. It's possible to eat bananas where I'm I pass in the pile set. I pass in the hours value that I have in the input uh, passed. And I assume that this is the probable value of k. So this is a pretty simple and straightforward method. You calculate the total hours it takes to eat the entire piles, and you compare it with the value of hours that we have. The main crux of the problem lies in writing the binary search approach appropriately. So we have a low value set to one, the high value set to the maximum value across the pile set, and we go with the standard way of writing the binary search approach on the range based. values where low is less than high you calculate the middle one if it's possible to eat all bananas what do you do you update low to mid plus one otherwise you update mid to high in the end you simply return the value of low pretty simple and straightforward nothing rocket science we have been doing this in the past and we have solved plenty of questions on these lines i'm not sure why did it take 5 uh, 78 milliseconds probably i'm connected to vpn but let's just ignore that This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.